Sewing on a waistband is easier for me if I'm working inside out. So I've got the pants turned inside out and I'm going to work within the circle. It just helps me not catch anything and I can control what I'm doing. I'm going to sew from one end all the way around to the other. Waistband starts to get tricky. You usually have multiple layers here, especially as you're going over the zipper shield, the zipper extension, the zipper teeth, the zipper tape. Try to avoid your zipper stops. But if you need a bigger needle for this, that's an appropriate time to change your needle. Especially if you're putting in belt loops at this stage. Then you just have so many layers and top stitching and everything else as you cross a heavy seam that you might just need a thicker needle. Make sure you're not running over your pins just so that's complication you don't have to deal with. This is where you catch the top of your pockets. And then once again, once I get over here, I'm going to be dealing with zipper tape, zipper stop. Possibly zipper teeth. Okay, now I have all this seam allowance. I need to flip the waistband up. It will naturally fold and this inside will come down and cover that seam allowance. And it doesn't feel bulky, but right here at the front where you've got a seam allowance coming in this way, a seam allowance coming in this way, all this zipper tape and everything here that's kind of bulky, and you're trying to get a snap, a, a button or a buttonhole in this space, you really need to do some trimming and grading in here. So I am going to grade this seam allowance and I'm gonna cut the pant at the lower level and leave the wrist bend at the higher level because the pant is a bulkier seam.